today, we're going to be teaching you how to speak some basic Tamil language. So, for today's class, we're going to teach you how to say simple sentences like I am hungry, she is hungry, you are hungry. So join us. Let's go learn. Fino Tamil. Just wondering today, Here's what's going on. you guys are sitting down. How are you feeling? I'm hungry. You're what? I can't hear you. I'm hungry. What about you? Are you hungry also? Yes, I'm hungry. I can't go. Well, what language did you just say that in? English? I think it, yeah, I think it's English. Wouldn't you want to learn how to say that in Samoa? Let us begin. Today, as mentioned earlier, we'll be working with how to form simple sentences such as, I am tired, she is hungry, he is thirsty, they are sleepy. So the basic rule is we're forming sentences using adjectives today. And to do that, we use the do type pronoun. So how do we form these very simple sentence constructions, you may ask. Well, you add the adjective in the front, and at the end of the sentence, you add your pronoun. Who the heck are you talking about? Are you talking about me, you, them, we? Ah, we will learn all of this today. So, let's deconstruct this sentence. A very simple sentence meaning, I am hungry. So, Nyalan class means what? Means what? One, two, three? Hungry! Good job! And Zu is our first Zu type pronoun, meaning I in this context. Thank you. We're now going to demonstrate how to use these various pronouns. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm hungry. Nyaling Zhu? Nyaling Zhu. Nyaling Ho. You are hungry. How? You? Nyaling hungry. Thank you. Shurel, are you hungry? Hungan. Oh, you are hungry. Nyaling how? Nyaling how? Nyaling gui. Nyaling gui. He or she is hungry. Gui, he or she. Nyaling hungry. Thank you. Eric, what's wrong? Are you hungry? <laughs> He is hungry. Nyalang Gui. Nyalang Gui. Nyalang Ha. Nyalang Ha. For this purpose, we like to explain that in this simple sentence construction, you're referring to two people. Nyalang Ha. If we were going to refer to three or more people to say we are hungry, that would be very different. So, for today's lesson, we're only talking about two people or one. So Nyalang Ha, we are hungry. We are hungry. Yeah, cookies aren't real. Yeah, really. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, Eric. Sherelle, you're not hungry. We're hungry. Nyalang Ha, Nyalang Ha. Nyalang Hit, Nyalang Hit. We are hungry. You and I are hungry. Remember, only two people we're talking about here, so it's you and me. We are hungry. Y'all like it. Thank you! Sherelle, I'm really hungry. Jesse, me too! You too? So we're hungry. Y'all like it. Y'all like it.
Nyarlang Hamzu. Nyarlang Hamzu. You both are hungry. But in this case, only two people, as we've mentioned. So you too are hungry. You are hungry. Nyarlang Hamzu. Thank you! I'm not hungry. Are you both hungry? Oh, yeah! Oh, Nyarlang Hamzu. You both are hungry. Nyarlang Hamzu. Good. Nyarlang Siha. Nyarlang Siha. They are hungry. They are hungry. Only. I'm hungry. Today, we learned a little Tamor language! Yay! Get out of my shot. So, on a more serious note, it is imperative that we use lessons like these. We use humor, we use seriousness, we combine everything together to continue to learn the language. We must be able to pass the language down to our children. We must be able to speak the language in society and to make sure that the world hears it. Now is the time to learn the language. It is not too late. Thank you, Sanamas. What's wrong? Are, are you hungry? <laughs>